uh, we make a cheddar cheese, a nice a traditional cheddar cheese, uh, the same as our grandparents made. Same ingredients, same style, uh, and uh, the cheese flavour is all the better for that. Three of us are making the same cheddar uh, to a similar recipe, but of course we're using our own milk. Uh, and the flavour of the milk is shown in the, in the cheese because we don't heat treat the milk. So it's raw milk cheese and all the flavour and the character of the farm and the fields and the weather and the, the cattle all is expressed in the cheese. The scheme of our involvement in slow food is to bring together the three cheese makers in Somerset who still used only their own milk and keep it unpasteurised to make cheddar. Um, so what we have here are the same cheese from three different terroirs. And so when we come and do these events, we have an absolute confidence that we don't, we don't confer beforehand. We don't go into each other's store and say, right, I'll bring this flavor, you bring that flavor. Because we can, we can arrive, and we know that they will be different. We've never been caught out. We just arrive with some of our cheese, we put them out, three different cheeses, and people can always tell the difference between them. They can always make their choice of which one is their favourite, which is very exciting because it means that there's always something different between us. Even though we're using the same starters, the, the bacteria we use are the same from the same production, um, the same rennet, the same type of cows, we feed them perhaps slightly differently, but the grass itself will be different and the water is different and the cheesemaker's handling of the milk is very slightly different. And that always expresses itself in a flavour that, that the general public can see. And that's really exciting. Certainly the, uh, our local, our Presidio, where the three of us, um, I think the biggest benefit is we talk together and work together and help each other. And this has worked extremely well, particularly probably for us, because we were the youngest ones to go back into making this sort of cheese because the others had stayed where they were and then we sort of had a foray out into the big world and then, then came back again. So it has benefited us a lot and we do talk about all sorts of things like for instance the TB issue which is very very important to us and, and we have freedom of information between each other and we sell each other's cheeses on the stand and don't say who we are uh, which to start with is slightly unnerving but after a bit you get used to it.